Greetings friends, I trust that all is well with you out there. My brother has been telling me that for the past two weeks, her seven-year-old daughter has been inviting her to church, almost insisting, you know, that he goes. I cannot see him resisting that. I, in fact, imagine him hesitantly going to church because he can not say no to his beloved daughter. And that for me begs a question of when last did you invite a friend to church? When last did you invite a friend to a fellowship a group meeting, a prayer session? Of some sort. I am told that many have come to know Christ through being invited to Alpha courses and since then they have testimonies to make. I am looking forward to the day when my brother make uh, his own testimony. And so in Luke chapter 9 verses 28 to 36. We are given a testimony of three friends who were invited by one of their friends, their rabbi, their teacher, to go up the mountain. It would appear as if there was no specific assignment for them, but they were just invited to be there in his presence. And these three friends, we are told that as Christ prayed, his, they had a remarkable revelation when his face appeared um, as bright and also his clothes um, appeared uh, brighter than normal. So they saw the glory of Jesus Christ. And I wonder how fulfilled or edified would the body of Christ if we were to invite more into his presence. I wonder what sort of veils are covering our eyes from seeing the glory of Christ. Because these disciples, it is as if they were seeing Christ for the first time and they were seeing another version of him. Could it be that the trauma of COVID-19 uh, pandemic is preventing us from coming to his presence? Could it be that the challenges that we are facing as a result of socio-economic um, challenges is putting a veil on our eyes and presenting, preventing us from seeing the glory of Christ. Have we forgotten about Paul's conviction that nothing, absolutely nothing can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? So this is essentially the testimony that the three disciples um, had and they had the voice of God saying, this is my son whom I have chosen, so listen to him. I wonder how often do we experience those moments of sleepiness as we are told that Peter and his companions were sleepy, but when they woke up, they saw the glory of God. I wonder how often do we miss that ever-present um, glory, that ever-present light uh, that is in the act uh, of worship. And so, friends, I invite you to invite your friends to a act of worship. As the people called Methodists, we are told that prayer is one of the means uh, of grace. As it were, at HMC, we are beginning with the Alpha course in the evening of the 27th of February. 
how good would it be to see one of you there and your friends as we come in the presence of the Lord. May God bless you and bless you immensely. Amen.